네, 염. Johnny Hoskins. Right. He was the the Mr. Speedway in those days. Yeah. And and how big was it in his day in this area? It started off quite small, but it, but it, it grew because I mean around Paul there's so many small villages. Yeah. And they used to draw from these little villages. Yeah. And there were great support from them. In its heyday, what was the capacity crowd? How many people used to come and watch? Well, it started maybe two, three thousand, but it built up to. An average crowd was four, five, six thousand. But for big meetings, they used to put in twelve, thirteen thousand. Wow, that's a lot and of people. And it was a lot isn't of people it? for a small stadium as it was then. You can imagine the roar, the smell, mm. you know, the fumes, everything, oh, the, can't you? The, the excitement. The, the atmosphere really was something else. Yeah. Why were you drawn to it? I just, like a lot of youngsters in those days, their only means of transport was motorcycles. Yeah. And I first saw it, I actually saw a speedway in Bellevue when I was stationed there during the war. Up in Manchester. In Manchester. Before I went abroad. And you got hooked. And I got hooked, and that's all I wanted to do. When I came out the RF, yeah, I I, you're a very modest man, because I know you were a brilliant rider in your day, weren't you? You were one of the best. I enjoyed it. I loved yeah. it. I enjoyed the teams and travelling and the whole yeah. the whole atmosphere of speed was great. Talk me through the rules. Do you ride as a team or, or against each other? No, you, you ride as a pair. The idea of riding as a pair is that if you if you stick together, you, you can, can block you can the take up a lot of track. And block off the opposition. I've got it now. The other beauty about riding together is if, if your partner comes in first and you come in second, you get paid for first as well. Right, I see. So you, so so you don't race your partner. No, that's, that's good, idea. otherwise it would be too competitive. That's the whole it? idea of it, yeah. Could you earn a lot of money in your day back Not then? a lot, no, but we, we could earn enough to live on. You could earn enough to um, be professional. Pay our expenses, yes. What, what sort of money were you earning? We used to earn 15 shillings a point, which of course 75p. Yeah. A point. A point. A point. So how so, many points so can you get in a three, night? Three, then? three points for a win. Right. Uh, you could earn forty-five shillings. Yeah. That's not bad. No, no. Because in, in those days you could buy an engine for seventy-five pounds. Yeah, and that's obviously just at one race meet. So if you're doing three or four race meets a week, if you could travel around the country, oh, yes. you could earn a living. Yes. So you you could earn, you could earn enough to, to to live on and maintain your bike. Just. Yeah. How lovely. It was a struggle. Has it changed today much? Oh yes, it's much more sophisticated, colourful. Yeah. And I love it. I mean, you have to be pretty fearless on one of those bikes yeah. when you're racing away. Not really, you don't think about it. You don't no, think about no. it, do you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great Too much excitement yeah. all at once. I've got to ask you this. When was the last time you got on a bike and rode round this particular track? About three years ago. It was, um, they did a, a, a sort of testimonial for Neil and myself yeah. for the amount of years that we'd actually put into Paul's with. Yeah. So they asked us to do a few laps. How did it feel? Great. <laughs> <laughs> tempting. Very tempting. Tempted to go on again today. Yeah. I'd love to, but to uh, pass it now. <laughs> Never too late. At 80 years old, bloody strong. Are you really? Yes. Yeah. Well, you don't look it. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. <laughs> well, I know Neil yeah. is over there waiting in the pits yes. with a selection of bikes for me to look at, and hopefully I'm going to have a go on one and go round the circuit. Should we go and look? You like that, would you? I would love that. Do I the, would. Yeah, Come yeah, on, then, let's go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Neil, you're the Great Britain team manager. Now, 
you've got to know your onions, or in this case, your bikes, <laughs> to get that sort of qualification. You're a great rider as well, and Dad taught you, chip off the old block. This was a bike from your dad's period, wasn't it, from his era? Yes, that's right, that's exactly what Dad used to ride, and uh, I don't know how they used to ride them. Looking at them now, they're certainly a monster to ride. It's a design icon. I love all the chrome. It is, it's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, it's really sculpture. Does. Yeah, it is yeah. beautiful, beautiful. It looks very lightweight. It is, I mean, they were built for speed, not, not for comfort, as you can see, just the seat and the bars, no yeah. brakes, no gears. No brakes, now, why no brakes, that's what we want to know. <laughs> I think sometimes when we used to race, we used to wonder that as well, but no, it's mainly for a safety point of view, yeah. uh, guys braking, hitting, running in the back of each other, that sort of thing, really. Yeah, that's a lovely bike, it, it really is. Well, let's see how they've evolved. The one behind us is what, so the 1960s? No, no, this is, this is actually 1980s. This, this, 1980s. Is, this is actually my bike, the one I finished racing on. This bike's got lots of memories for you. Oh yes, absolutely. It's to say, this is the one I finished on. This is the one I always keep, and my children can look at it and say, you know, they, what do you do for a living, Dad? Well, this is what I used to race. Wow, it's incredible, isn't mm. it? Yes, and it how is. fast? What sort of speeds could you do on this? Well, they, 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 they run on methanol, not like not petrol, and they, they'll do naught to sixty in three seconds, which is sort of almost that's fast, very fast. That's very fast from a standing start, especially with no brakes. <laughs> well, it looks great, but again, they are evolving, aren't they? And this is what we've got now. If we zoom around here, this uh, this, this bike is a prototype, which, which is built by a local friend, Penske, who make Indy cars for Tony Ricardson, who's a six times world champion. Yeah. This is actually built uh, called the Midlow, which is named after my father and I, which is rather nice. But this this is uh, the, the first one built. This is what Tony races at the moment. Yeah, they look like they're built to last now, though, don't they? They, they, they do uh, crash quite a bit and do bend quite easily. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to know that. There's one more to look at which is really the state of the art. This is exactly what young riders would wish to ride today. That's right, this is how we see the future of Speedway with all the streamlining yeah. and, and for, for a bit, little bit more speed, because it's, it's tenths of seconds in Speedway. The, you can win a race tenths of a second, that, that's the difference. Yeah. So, but this is the way that um, the sport's going at the moment. There's no doubt that the atmosphere of Speedway can be intoxicating. Every week, these powerful machines are tweaked to perfection before they hurtle around the track in breathtaking races, pitching man and machine against their rivals. And that's just how it's always been here at the Wimborne Stadium throughout the generations.